Okay, it's Larry Hockman, no more holding back.com. I'm in my backyard here in Bristol, Connecticut, practicing, practicing, not perfecting, but practicing that craft I love so much, juggling. I want to talk to all of you. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I want to talk to all of you who are learning or trying to learn how to do something that's important to you. Saw me practicing my clubs there. I'm going to go with something a little easier for the time being. My Nerf balls. I'm going to drop those too. Many of you who are trying to learn to do something new, whether, whatever it is, maybe it's juggling, probably not. Maybe it's learning how to build a business. Maybe it's learning how to be a better spouse. Maybe it's learning how, who knows? There's a million different things we're all trying to learn. I want to give you something that is that I've found to be enormously helpful. When I was learning how to juggle, and we're going back about 20 years now, when I was learning how to juggle, I would be sitting up in my dorm room in Albany, New York, as a college student, and I would be learning with baseballs, and I would just bruise the heck out of my hands. The reason why is I did it for hours and hours and hours on end, uh, to the point where it reached what's called the law of diminishing returns. Um, I would torture myself. And that was the only thing. I was actually torturing myself because it became so important to me that for a while there I lost the joy. This is the big part. I lost the joy in what I was doing. When I practice now, when I practice juggling, when I practice writing, when I practice building my business, there's a, there's a number of things I'm learning how to do now that are important to me. I usually go for no longer than half an hour at a time. Reason why is, um, and I think you know this already, we learn, all of us, we learn best when we are in a state of repetition and a state of emotion. We learn by practicing and practicing and practicing. When that practice brings you to the point where you've lost the joy in what you're doing, where you're feeling um, misery where you're feeling a lack of fun, lack of excitement in what you're doing, I want you to stop. I want you to walk away. I want you to go do something fun. I want you to let what you've learned, this is big, I want you to let it seep into your consciousness. When I was learning how to juggle clubs, I finally figured out the best way to do it. I would practice for no longer than 15 minutes at a time. I'd practice, I'd bruise my hands, I would laugh. Um, when I got to the point where I slammed the clubs down in disgust, and I've had a few of those, that's when I walked away. That's when my own internal mechanism told me, hey Larry, time to do something else. And an amazing thing happened. It settled into my consciousness. So half an hour later, or a couple hours later, or a couple of days later, I'd pick it back up. And I would go on this incredible run. And what I'm saying is the same thing is going to happen with you. You're learning how to do something, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. Mm -hmm. You're ambitious, you're striving towards something bigger and better. Get strong. Work hard at it. When you get to that point where you've taken in everything you can, walk away. Be happy, be proud, let it settle in, then come back. It's what I teach when I teach other people how to juggle. Amazing stuff happens. Amazing stuff is going to happen with you. I want you to do that. I want you to get strong, I want you to get confident, and I want you to enjoy the process, no matter what it is. It's been Larry, nomoreholdingback.com. Make it.